Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patience. If today is the first time you're stopping by, welcome. And also welcome to my old returning subscribers. Thank you for always coming around to watch my videos. We have a new subscriber in the building and I'm so excited about her. Subscriber number 91. Thank you for joining the family. Today's video, I will be talking about Chimamanda again. I'm always talking about her. I'm sure you guys will be tired of me talking about her. It's not really, I don't know if I should say it's really about her today, but it's just, a, it's just the way she protects and defends Nigeria when she is in a situation to defend Nigeria. That is how I'll put it. So, one thing about YouTube, if you watch a particular if you want there are certain videos you watch they give you a recommendation based on what you watch so based on that youtube recommended this video and i'm so glad that i bumped into this video of the the french in interview chimamanda was being interviewed by a french interviewer yeah so let me before i go into it let me say something about nigeria i've been fortunate enough to be out uh, out of nigeria we lived in Southeast Asia, me and my family, me and my husband and my kids. And I know going to some of the countries, surrounding countries, our neighboring countries, in, uh, we lived in Brunei. Let me be specific. We lived in Brunei and went to some countries close to Brunei. And I know the way Nigerians we are being treated because of our passports. When you, they see it or you say you're in Nigeria, they will give you... Uh, so many uh, bad stories about what Nigerians have been doing, the Nigerians that they've come across. One thing in life is that there's this word that they say, there's this song, one bad, one bad apple doesn't spoil the whole bunch, right? In every country you have bad people and you have good people, right? And there's another word, uh, I think if it's common in Nigeria, it's, I don't know if it's an evil proverb that they say, if one finger is soiled with palm oil, it affects the other fingers. This, in a way, is if one, it doesn't mean that all the other fingers will be stained. The thing is that all the other, just let me put it in this way. If there's a bad person from your country, if they, they, someone bad is from your country it affects every other person that is from that country because if someone should come across you and your fellow countryman or woman has done something that is very wrong it not affects you because that other person that was there before you has created an image that is not good but one thing is that people forget that one bad apple doesn't spoil the whole bunch if you have a bad apple in a particular bunch that doesn't mean that every other bunch will be bad so let's get into what i'm trying to talk about now so uh i went to uh, maryland in the u.s uh the mall there so i went to a mark shop and to buy uh some cosmetics so this lady she was like ah i love your accent where are you from I said, I'm in Nigeria. For the first time, I was like, ah, I love, for the first time, I had someone tell me, I love your accent. I know a Nigerian and she works with me. Though she's not here right now, she'll be here the next day. So because of what she said, and I think she told me the lady's name and the name is Essay. I said I was going to come back to buy the other things. So I made the Essay and I was so excited. So in essence, what I'm trying to say is that a lot of Nigerians, create a bad image about us a lot of nigerians don't want to associate themselves with nigerians when they find themselves in the diaspora i've had experience of nigerians not wanting to like be friendly with other nigerians like i said i've been out of nigeria for a long time for more than six seven years and i've met nigerians that wouldn't want they want to associate with the their nurture or oyibo people if i may put it that way it's okay it's okay to mix with other uh ethnic groups it's okay but that doesn't mean that you should throw your own uh fellow nigerians at a corner and as if they don't matter so i'm saying this because of the video i watched the way chimamanda defended Nigeria as a country she was unapologetically herself 
My question now is, if you're in a situation like that, will you be able to defend your country in a polite way, but you make the person understand that? Nigerians, we know we have bad people, and we have equally good people. That goes back to every other country. They have good and they have bad people. So this uh, video is so amazing. And I'm so glad that I bumped into this video. One, um, I remember as a child, my father used to tell us this, that a stupid question deserves a stupid answer. And I'm going to play the video for you to watch and see what I'm talking about. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye. And I'll see you in my next video. No, before I go, if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. And also, there's a bell notification sign that you can tap on. That way, you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And I will see you. Bye bye. Bookshops in Nigeria. I think I think it's I think it reflects very poorly on French people that you have to ask me that question. I really do. Because I mean I think in general that France doesn't seem to realize that it is no longer um, an 18th century world power. And, um, and I say this with um, sad honesty because I have affection for, um, oh, the minister left, oh, okay, good. Uh, <laughs> but, but I mean, I think that, I think that the French, I mean, so I'm Anglophone African, I'm not Francophone, but I think that, that French, um, the history of French and Francophone relations, I find very vexed and troubling. Um, I, I think it's interesting, this idea that the, 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 um, the CFA, the Francophone currency, is somehow tied to the French franc. I find that really retrograde. I think that um, the way that there's a kind of cultural power that France wields over Francophone Africa that I think is unhealthy. Um, I think Francophone films are really French films in a way that that's not the case in Anglophone West Africa. Um, there is a kind of, um, I think the way that Anglophone Africans occupy their space in, in the UK is not the same way that Francophone Africans occupy their space in France. And, you know, and I, I think that Francophone Africans who, who who know this, right? And maybe they should be the ones answering this question because, you know, I do, I, I know sort of, I, I know I read a bit about it, but I, I obviously I don't have a personal experience. But, but I should say that my criticism when I started out, and I stand by it, it's because I've had many unpleasant experiences with French immigration. Um, yesterday was different because they were actually polite, but every time I have come into France, and it's happened, I'm going to say four or five times in the past two years, there is a kind of contempt with which I am dealt with when I present my Nigerian passport that I really find indefensible. And I think it's important because the immigration officers are the first line of, of, of contact with the country and so it shapes the way you think of a country. And I think it, it takes very little to be polite and to give people their basic dignity. And if I'm coming into a country and I have everything I need and I am legally there, then surely there's no reason to keep me for 30 minutes asking me ridiculous questions, ignoring me for long periods, and just being an ass. So that, that's what has shaped my um, irritation with.